Welcome everyone to this video. Today we are testing the free version of Super Anti Spyware and because it's the free version there is no real time protection so we will be testing the scan option only. I do have a folder with a bunch of samples of malware. We have 154 samples in total and so we will be using these samples to test how well Super Anti Spyware does as far as scanning for these specific threats. Because there is no real-time protection, the procedure will be as follows. In a moment, we will go ahead and start a scan, and we will let it run to completion to see if it detects anything. If there's any results remaining, we will scan the samples folder directly, and then if there's any samples remaining after that, we will execute them and then scan the computer a third time. Please note that we are up to date, and so at this point, let's go ahead and click on Scan This Computer, and at this point, we'll go ahead and click on Complete Scan. And we will let this fully run and we will be back here with the results. The scan has completed and it found 18 results. So we'll go ahead and click on continue. And we can see right here a list of everything that it found. Let's go ahead and make sure all the boxes are checked. And it looks like at least one of these is a tracking cookie. So that does not count. So we will go ahead and click on continue. And then we'll go ahead and do a reboot. After reboot, we can see that we have 137 items remaining. So at this point, let's go ahead and just scan the samples folder directly. And it looks like it found nothing additional, so we'll go ahead and close this. Now I'm not going to go through and execute all 137 of these, so I'm just going to pick five random ones and then we'll do our third and last scan. And at this point, let's go ahead and run our third and final scan. And again, we will do a complete scan and we will be back here in just a moment. The final scan has completed and it looks like it found one additional result, so we'll go ahead and remove this and reboot again. I ran a scan with Malwarebytes, which came back positive with 149 results. And so we can see all the boxes are checked. So we'll go ahead and quarantine these. So to sum things up, Super Anti Spyware missed a lot of results. And this has kind of been their situation for a while, but you can take these results and draw your own conclusions. That's everything for this video. If you have any comments or questions, please post them down below. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you found it helpful, please go ahead and consider sharing it. And please also consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications on future videos.